Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. How are you? I'm good. So, Alexia, let's get straight to the point. I'm good, too, as well. Thank you. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, we were just talking before we started recording, so I already knew you were good, and I forgot to ask you again. I'm sorry. Huh. Huh. <laughs> okay, Alexia, last time we talked about your greatest personal achievements, your, like, why should the interviewer hire you? Pretty serious questions. Today we're going to take it a little bit lighter and talk about questions in the future. So these always happen. So we're going to talk about two questions today, and one of these questions almost always happens. Okay? You okay, ready? Let's go. Okay. First question is, where do you see yourself in five years? And the quantity of time can change. It can be, where do you see yourself in 10 years, in the future, in general, in 20 years, whatever. But this idea of, what do you want to do in the future? What do you think? Ah, uh, um... Can what I, I think, what I think uh, about myself in five years or? Well, first, can I start as always? What do you think the interviewer is trying to really understand about you when they ask you this question? I think that he wants, he or she, I don't know. He wants to know if my intention is to stay uh, at the, 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 the enterprise for a long time mm -hmm. or no. And my ambitions is if I want to grow, do I say grow? Grow. Yeah. I would say grow within the company. Yeah. You grow could say within rise the in the company. company. Yeah. I think that's perfect. So when they're asking questions about the future, I think they're really asking, what are you thinking about? Like, what's your, what's your game plan here? Are you just trying to make money? Are you trying to get something that looks good on your resume? Or do you really want to work with this team? How do you say, like, agregar coisas à empresa? I would say, like, add, add value to the company. Yeah. yeah. Brazilians love this, agregar. Yeah, we say that que a lot. Você agrega? Yeah. yeah. So, Alexa, do you have, how would you answer this question? Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, if I was... Let's try to make it more relevant because I know that most of our listeners are not, like, nomadic podcasters like us so imagine you are in interviewing for like a big corporation in rio like ibm just a normal marketing job or something any sort of marketing production job and they say alexia what do you think you'll be doing in the future yeah if i if i take the example from my last job If they would ask me right now, like, I enter as a producer, that's what I'm applying, where do you see yourself in five years? I would say, like, um, a coordinator from my sector, from the production sector. Mm -hmm. So I would grow, and I would uh, try to grow with my team. <coughs> Wasn't perfect? No. Team. 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 So sad. So mm -hmm. sad. <laughs> Getting team. better. Alexa. There we go. Nice. With my team. And for sure, I would try to... How do I say this? Um, criar mais processos. Create more processes? Yeah, but it's a way of working. Work with processes. I mean, th this would be really, really direct for this yeah. function. So, yeah, I would say create more efficient systems or processes to help the business run more efficiently, run more effectively, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. An interesting thing that I hear in your example and a lot of my students' examples is more or less they say their current job and then they just choose a position higher than that 
and say, in five years, I think I'm going to be an executive producer or a manager, general manager. And coordinator. Yeah. So I remember in one of my first really serious interviews, they asked me this question. And I was like, in five years, honestly, maybe this is too ambitious, but I see myself as working in international management at this company. And I felt so good, like, ah, nailed that one, Foster. And the guy said, why do you want to be a manager? So honestly, Foster, I'm a manager. And managing people is really hard, and it's not fun, and it's not for everybody. And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't want to be a manager. <laughs> yeah, but in my case, I like to deal with people, so I wouldn't have any problem. Yeah, but do you want to manage people? Do you want to tell people when they're wrong? Do you want to have the responsibility of firing people? Do you want... No. Firing? No. But telling people when they are wrong or right? Yeah, I've already done that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Alexia, another related question is... So I will give you two questions and you can choose which one you prefer. So one question is, what is your dream job? Or the other question is, what is kind of your dream work day? So I receive both of these a lot. If you talk about your dream job, you're still just talking about what you want to do in the future. And if you talk about your ideal day, you're just saying, in a perfect world, I would go to work and this is what, what it will look like. Yeah, but again, right now I only think like, okay, I'll wake up go to work, I do everything that I need, I leave at four and I go exercise and I come back home. But if I was trying to get a very, very good job in a huge IBM thing, I, I, I honestly, I don't know because it's, this is really, really far away from my reality right now. Yeah, yeah, I know it's difficult. What I think is happening here when people ask about your future aspirations, dream job, your ideal day. They're really trying to think about its ambitions, its goals, its how you see yourself in the world and where you want to be in your trajectory in life. So for example, I think you could say what you said, like I want to work and then be done at four, go exercise. That's cool. But you could add something. So let me think in my case, I think I would answer One of the most important things for me as a teacher is that I'm helping people. I feel most alive. It's almost a selfish thing because I feel happiest when I'm helping other people. So that has to be a part of my everyday. Secondly, I always want to be surrounded by smart people that help me learn more. So just examples like that, which are always kind of bullshit, but kind of true. <laughs> I know that you prepare before this podcast and I'm all about surprises what I had to answer. So my answers are always like horrible and yours are very, very good. Yeah, well, I had to get some points for Team Foster. <laughs> uh, I know what you're doing now. After five episodes, now I know. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, though, I did not prepare. It's just I went to business school for two years, which essentially uh -uh. is... I went to business school for five years as well. Uh, what? What? But you're American and you know how to answer this kind of things in, in English. I don't. Okay. Do you want to continue complaining or do you want to do you want to? I this am job? making my case. <laughs> <laughs> order, order in the court. <laughs> I am making my case. So no. <laughs> You not get by with, I went to business school. I did as well, so. Okay. Well, technically, mine was a graduate degree. This... <laughs> não me cansa, Foster. Não cansa minha beleza. <laughs> I think Alexia's been watching too many episodes of Law and Order. <laughs> Criminal Minds, no é Law and Order. Ah, yeah. Cool. Okay, Alexia. Just one more about interviews, I promise. I think it is really helpful. and. I think even the fact that I... Wait, I'm... one more? One more question? No, one more episode tomorrow. Ah, tá. I'll give you some time to prepare tomorrow, but I really think that if I give you these surprise questions, 
I think it really helps our students understand why these questions are difficult, what they need to think about. So I know your suffering But, um, is helping like, others. Oh, qual com dedo na boca olhando para cima, sabe? Do it for the students. Eles são tão inocentes. I love them. I always talk to them on Instagram and everything else, and I answer everyone, every single one. So I know that. I work with them personally every day, and they always say, "You know what? We need some really difficult interview questions for Alexia." And I say, "I don't know. I guess I'll try." <laughs> okay. Okay, Alexia. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.